game that close unless it was like it just felt like another game day weekend everyone in their game day outfits it just felt so right and i got to stay with my best friend caitlin who just moved to charlotte yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't need no filters you my rocket you my perfect picture baby you know i'm trying to kick it with you Ain't gotta wait till it gets dark. We get 106 and park. You be my rock, I be your big tigger. Good I'm morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. Just made my bed for the morning. I'm literally still half asleep. I feel like you can see it in my face. Like, I, my face is just so puffy this morning. So I need to make a coffee to get my day started. And go from I'm there. Flaunt you. I'm obsessed with you. Baby, I want you. They don't watch you. Tell them they can tune in and show them how I... Put our love on a billboard So you just need to look out your window Show the whole city I'm all yours Let me put us on display Yeah I'll shout it from the rooftops Will I be able to do this without spilling it? I really hope so Alright, now I'm gonna do two pumps of vanilla I'm gonna get some almond milk from the fridge Glass straw, give a little mix. Now I'm gonna put this on top and stir it in. I wish it had, it doesn't have the um, the like cover so it doesn't come out super fast. So I feel like I have to be really careful doing this. Mix that in. All right, now time for the verdict. It smells like pumpkin, so I'm kind of hoping that with the between the vanilla and the pumpkin spice, it actually tastes like pumpkin, but we're gonna find out. I've been having this issue, this has nothing to do with the spice or the vanilla, it actually tastes really good. But I've been having this issue lately where my almond milk has tasted a little bit too much like almond milk. And I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'm really picky about like the non-dairy milks that I drink. So I don't really like, if I have to drink 2% milk or whole milk, I will. I don't really have anything against it. But just because for skin reasons and obviously other reasons, I try to buy unsweetened vanilla almond milk to put in my coffee and like use whenever I can instead of using whole milk or 2% milk. But this past week, I've been putting this almond milk that I've been using for several years now in my coffee and it's been tasting a little bit too much like the almonds instead of the unsweetened vanilla which has never happened to me before but other than that it's really good if you guys have a marshall's near you go pick this up i'm going to put it here so you guys can screenshot it this is what it looks like they probably also have it like tj maxx or home goods but it's good it makes like a nice addition to the coffee when i don't have time to go out and get starbucks or don't want to spend money on starbucks just gonna pretend like this is my own pumpkin spice something. <laughs> Post coffee or mid coffee, I'm a little bit more revived. I feel like I look a little bit more awake and just more like a human. So just wanted to, you know, give you guys the lowdown, the info. My hair is not having it today though. I just got back from Miami on Monday and today's Wednesday. So I kind of just feel like I'm still trying to get my life together a little bit. I did a lot of cleaning up yesterday and getting schoolwork done yesterday and just trying to get my life back on track after Miami. I feel like I always need one day after travel just to kind of get everything in order, like go grocery shopping, clean up the apartment, even if it was just for three days because I just went to Miami for the long weekend for Labor Day. It's not like I went for an entire week, but even then I just feel like sometimes I leave my apartment and then come back and just make it a chaotic mess. So I spent the majority of yesterday just kind of cleaning up and getting everything organized, getting my life back together. I still kind of feel like I'm getting doing that a little bit today. I have some YouTube stuff that I need to catch up on. I need to do uh, like a handful of schoolwork. I did the majority of my lecture videos yesterday, but I have a lot of readings to do that I'll probably take place today. And then I have some discussion posts to draft and some quizzes to prepare for. You know the whole shebang at this point i feel like my school routine is pretty standard so if you've been around the vlogs for a while you already kind of know what takes place in a week but i just need to get ahead on that so i don't go into the weekend feeling like i'm behind and yeah so that's my wednesday i'm going to try to have like a semi-productive day although yesterday was extremely productive so i feel like i can cut myself some slack today but schoolwork does need to be done i need to have like eight readings too and i really wish i was kidding 
I have, maybe it's not eight, maybe that's dramatic, but I do know that I have like five online readings to do and then I have chapter seven for my textbook to do and these chapters in this textbook are literally so long. So I know that's going to take me a little bit to get through. So I might try to do like the online readings today and then the chapter text from the textbook tomorrow and just split it up so I don't have like so much information floating around in my head. But I know that that definitely needs to get done. I want to vacuum my apartment because it's a little bit gross. We have a gnat infestation that's taking place. I swear the issues with this apartment are never ending, but I also just know that that is living in New York. I'm just thankful to not have any mice or cockroaches or anything, knock on wood. Like fully, if that happens, I will cry. But I do have a lot of gnats everywhere and I don't know where they're coming from or even how to get rid of them. I put like buckets of, buckets, like containers of white wine out because I know that that attracts them and then they'll like drown if they land in the wine. I also ordered gnat traps or like fake apples that have something that attracts gnats in them and then it's sticky on the outside so the gnats stick to the apple. So I ordered those, those should be coming in the mail today too, but yeah I came back from Miami to literally like 30 gnats all over my apartment and I've been killing them. I killed them like all day yesterday. I've been killing them this morning. A few of them have ended up in the white wine traps, but I need to figure that out because it's really grossing me out. And they just swarm me when I eat, which is literally disgusting. So, you know, the apartment issues never end. Welcome to living in New York. This is the reality. It's not all rainbows and sunshine and like this perfect city life. These apartments are definitely old and if it's not my apartment flooding, it's knots everywhere. So gotta take care of that but just wanted to give you guys an update this morning since i was half awake when i picked up the camera and i desperately needed coffee before i had any sort of conversation with the camera i've been on meetings all morning for work and i'm taking a little break to make a smoothie because i'm a little bit hungry and i'm trying to eat a little bit healthy just because i feel really gross after the weekend and i feel like i've been eating Kind of crappy, so I'm gonna have a smoothie before I make lunch a little bit later, but I wanted to share this frozen fruit situation that I discovered off of, I think I got this from Amazon Prime, the fresh, Amazon Fresh, whatever it's called. It's basically pre-portioned bags for fruit, and I think this is such an interesting concept. Obviously, a lot of plastic was wasted doing pre-portioned, but I thought it was just a bag of fruit and it turns out it's like five bags of fruit and so i guess it's enough for like five smoothies but i just thought that was so interesting and i don't know if anyone else has seen this but it's kind of convenient so you don't have to like measure out your fruit or anything honestly there's way more berries in here than i'll probably end up using in one smoothie because i also like to put in bananas and spinach and almond milk so i might use like half of this but i just thought that, that was so interesting and honestly a cool concept minus the fact that they used a lot of unnecessary plastic to do this The lighting in this room is fantastic at the moment. I also changed because I was getting quite hot. You guys know that I literally live in this Amazon top and then all of my Nike shorts. But I really quickly wanted to share some new pieces with you guys that I got from Dip and Daisies. They were kind enough to send me over some pieces to share with you guys and pieces that I'm just absolutely obsessed with. I've been in love with the Dip and Daisies brand for a while now. I bought my first piece from them maybe like over a year ago. If you guys had seen part two of the Costa Rica vlog and then also the Miami vlog, I wear this black wrap skirt over my bikini bottoms. I think it's called like a sarong or something like that. And I wear it over my bikini bottoms in both those vlogs and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And that is actually from Dippin' Daisies. That was the first piece that I purchased from Dippin' Daisies. And ever since then, I've been in love with their brand. And I know that they've also collabed with a bunch of like other really big influencers and YouTubers and content creators. So if me vouching for them doesn't say anything, they literally work with like Aspen Ovar and a bunch of other massive content creators. I am just obsessed with this brand and I was so excited when they reached out to send me some pieces. So I wanted to share the pieces with you guys. So I would also just like to say that I am not ready for summer to be over whatsoever. I am not in the mood to buy fall pieces yet. I can't do it. I want summer to live on forever and that is that. I'm actually going home in two weeks, not this coming weekend, but next weekend for an entire week and I think my parents are leaving the pool open so I'm going to be soaking up the last few days of summer there by the pool and just 
taking in all of the vitamin D and all of the warm air that I can before it gets really really cold in the city so I'm gonna be bringing these pieces with me obviously because I can't wear them in the city but I will be able to wear them at home so the first thing that Dippin Daisy sent over was this really really cute polka dot bikini top it has adjustable straps that you can adjust the ties on it's also reversible so you can wear it two different ways you can wear it on the polka dot side or you can wear it just on the black colored side with has like polka dot straps so that's kind of fun like a little accent piece but I just think it's super cute I'm wearing a size medium for reference and it covers me up really well which I appreciate because obviously I have a bigger chest so sometimes finding bikinis that fit are good quality and I don't have issues with can be a pain in the booty but this one the quality is just amazing and it fits super super great and then I got the matching bottoms they're these obviously polka dot bottoms that are also reversible so you can wear it on the white and polka dot side or you can wear it on the black side i will say for these bottoms i wish i had gone a size up they still fit but they're a little bit snug so i got a size small and i'm typically a size two or four for reference so i wish i had gotten the medium but they're cute they're high rise they're very cheeky i will have to say so that's also a forewarning but overall the material is great and i just love that you can wear the top and the bottoms in two different ways because who doesn't love that? It's like two bikinis in one. The next bikini that I got, just staying on the bikini trend, is this really cute bikini top that's definitely a lot different than the normal bikinis that I wear, but it's just this super cute plaid material. I don't know, I thought it was kind of fun. And I also love the style of this because this style fits me really, really well. Straps are adjustable, and I got this in a size medium as well. But I just think that it is super cute and a lot different than a lot of the bikinis that I have because a lot of the bikinis that I have are just one color and I don't really venture out from that. So I really like this plaid. These bikini bottoms to go with it, they're high-waisted bikini bottoms, which I've never purchased high-waisted bikini bottoms before out of fear of really weird tan lines, but also just I didn't want to stray from the norm because I didn't know how they'd fit. But I saw the model wearing these on the website and I was obsessed. And let me just tell you, they are so so flattering like make me feel so comfortable so flattering the material is super thick it has a lot of coverage in the back which I appreciate because not all bikinis have that so it's obviously family appropriate and it just fits really well this one I got in a size small and I probably wouldn't size up in it just because it is high-waisted so the small is true to size for this one it was just the other bottoms that I probably would have sized up in but this bikini bottom with the top I don't know just picture it and then the next thing i got is this really cute set and this set i think that definitely could be a transitional piece for fall because the top is long sleeves and it would be a little bit hot to wear here in new york right now just because it is still 80 degrees but come fall time when it gets cooler this is going to be the perfect transitional piece with a pair of slides or nike air force ones running to get groceries working from home in going on a walk in you know the whole shebang so these are the bottoms i love the material it is so thick and it's surprisingly so soft you guys can't tell on camera but it is just the most comfortable and flattering material out there and i want this in every single color i think that they also have this material in like longer pants like yoga style pants that i am honestly considering investing in because i think that that would be adorable but these are the shorts and then this is the top to match it just super cute again same material super soft the sleeves are fun because they kind of flare out at the bottom but like i said i can just picture me on a cozy fall morning when it's a little bit cooler in new york going to pick up a coffee or going to run groceries in this outfit or even working from home honestly i need more work from home sets that are comfy but also like appropriate to get on a zoom call for and i kind of feel like i could do that because it would just be from obviously the the neck up but i am obsessed with this set just picture this top with these shorts with a little coffee in my hand i can picture now such a vibe great instagram pic as well and i love the color of it so i'm obsessed with these pieces like i said dip and daisies is a brand that i have loved for so long and i would highly recommend i'm gonna have all these pieces linked down below as well as linked to the dip and daisies website so that you guys can check them out if you've never heard of Dippin Daisies before or if you want to see some of these products for yourself definitely just head over and check them out just because they're amazing and thank you again Daisies for sending me over these items because I am obsessed jump out of a window if you call me uh, yay touch a name on my neck I promise girl I swear I'm obsessed I'm a little bit later and I need
need to make lunch last night. Whoa. See, there's literally gnats everywhere. They're just flying out of my cabinets. They're up my nose. They're around me when I eat. They're literally so annoying. I need to figure out a way to get rid of them. Those little gnat traps are supposed to come in today by 10 p.m. Hopefully it's sooner than that. And if those don't get rid of them, I don't know what to do next. The exterminator technically comes every couple of weeks, but I don't know if an exterminator can get rid of gnats. Like, I don't know if that's a thing that they can spray for, but they're so annoying. I feel like I've been killing them all day. I've literally killed like 10 today and they just, there's still more. I don't know where they're all coming from. Anyways, what I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by the gnats because they're just so annoying is that I made tacos last night for dinner with John. And so I think I'm gonna have the leftover taco stuff for lunch he bought these blue shells from trader joe's yesterday they're kind of fun they're actually purple but they were actually pretty good i don't know i didn't know how to feel about them when he was like let's do blue shell tacos for dinner i was like okay but they actually turned out pretty good so i think i'm gonna have the leftover stuff for lunch because i don't feel like making anything and that smoothie only held me over for so long so we have ground beef and then we have peppers and onions and stuff like that to put on the tacos. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up in the microwave and then make some tacos. Oh, that smells so good. I'm so excited. New girl is hungry. Voila, the final product. I like how they're purple. I think it makes it more fun. Okay, look really on the mail. This is what I think it is. These gnats are about to be gone forever. Just need to figure out how to set it up though. Okay. So this is what they look like. And this, these are refills. Okay, this is not the same, what I thought it was gonna be. In college, we had these apple things that we would put out that were like sticky on the outside so that the gnats would get trapped on the outside. But this looks like the gnats will like fly into the apple and get stuck. So a little bit different than what I was thinking. Speaking of gnats, you're about to die. There's like little packets inside of it. You can kind of see. And those are supposed to dissolve in the water. And I guess that's what gives off the aromas. And then the flies go in there and they get trapped. So if these work, I'll have them linked down below. <laughs> For the very off chance that you guys have a gnat problem too. Which you probably don't. But maybe you do. I don't know. So I'm going to test these out. And then I'll give you guys an update because I'm sure you'll hear me complain about it if I still have a gnat issue in like a week. But if not, then that means that the apples are doing their job. Put one here because they seem to be attracted to this general corner. No clue. And then I put one in the bathroom because there's always so many of them in here. I guess they like water or something. I don't really know that or they're coming in through the bathroom window or a crack or something. So I put one in here as well so we'll see if they work if they don't work uh back to the drawing board but i really hope they do because i'm tired of them and they're very annoying so uh keeping my fingers crossed on that one all right i'm done with work for the day and i'm getting ready to head out i'm gonna go on a little walk because i'm feeling a little bit stir crazy nothing too long because we still have a little brace guy on me but i do need to get out of my apartment before i start talking to the walls so I'm gonna ready to do that. I think I'm gonna run to the grocery store a little bit farther away from me and get some Olipop. It's like a healthy grocery store. It's called Union Market. And I'm gonna do Olipop, Poppy, whatever they have, and some maybe some fresh fruit because I snacked all day today, but I snacked on really unhealthy things. So I'm gonna go get some fruit and stuff like that for tomorrow on the off chance that I have the same snack craving that I did today, so. Getting ready to head out, but just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update since I just finished work. Mini grocery haul time. Mini, mini. <laughs> so I got random things. Baby carrots, raspberries, hummus to go with the baby carrots, strawberries, and then two Olipops. Vintage Coke is the best flavor. I will argue that till the end of time. I think it tastes exactly like Coke. Although I've heard people say that they don't think it tastes exactly like Coke, but to me it does but one of my favorite drinks of all time. Olipop, you have my heart. But yeah, that was a really little grocery haul. And now I need to get ready to make some dinner. I think I'm gonna make some chicken 
with potatoes and broccoli, although I'm not super hungry yet, but I am going to Williamsburg later. So I feel like I should eat sooner rather than later. Which is hard because I've been snacking all day. So I'm at like a weird hunger point. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because my day is pretty much over. And like I said, just gonna make some dinner. Then I'm going to Williamsburg and that will be my evening. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up, as if you give it a thumbs up, it tells YouTube that you like my video, and that other people might like my video, and then it pushes my content out, and then we can grow this little community that we have going. So, again, thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.